Okay. Hey everyone, this is D Sharp from the Guess Who, and you're listening to Rock at Night with Mike McKenney. How you doing, Derek? Nice to meet uh, you. I'm good. How are you doing? Great. Thank nice you for uh, kind of filling in. Gary was uh, Gary Peterson was going to do this interview with us today, but unfortunately yeah. he had some medical issues. So yeah, yeah. You're pinch hitting for Gary. Yeah, appreciate it. it. Yep. <laughs> so That's, <it's> great. <laughs> That's great. Um, so you had a lead singer and guitarist. Um, for the Guess Who, the yeah, first version of the Guess Who, and you've actually been... And occasionally piano. Piano? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Um, you've been doing this for since 2008? Yeah, with the band? yeah, so forever. They've had, they've had, yeah, forever. But they've been around forever, and by their standards, that's True that. forever is a long time. They've yeah. had a lot of lead singers over the years. Uh, and musicians and, uh, as well. Musicians you as well, know, sure. Right. People. When you're around that long... Right. You yeah. know, it, it, it just, it's part of the territory. Doing my research for this uh, interview today, I, I noticed there was like 10 lead singers, about 20 different musicians in and out at uh, different it, times. I would say even more yeah, than that over, over the years because, you know, people uh, expire, people <laughs> leave, you know, yeah. for one reason or another. Sure. But I'm, uh, I've, you know, the the weird thing is I've, I've, I'm now the longest serving yeah. lead singer. <laughs> Because oh, second only to uh, uh, Cummings, who was in the band ten years, right. you know. So right. I'm I'm twelve now. Yeah. So. <laughs> it looks like I'm staying, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> so what keeps you here? What keeps you going with this music? Uh, you know, the, it, it's just fun. I love yeah. the guys. We have a good time. We have a, a in my opinion, a really good band, which took, you know, it, we've been building it up over the years. You know, when I started, Jim Cale was still in the band before he retired. So I've gone through this progression of some of the old, long serving Guess Who members into what it is now. And, 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 and uh, it culminated with getting Rudy Sarzo in 2016. It just turned the whole show into another level beyond just you know playing the hits that, that we do and so it's that and just the connection with people i mean every show is a different experience you know you know it can you can get sick of playing the same songs over yeah, and on, yeah. over and over of course anybody does but but i look at it like you know every every time you play in front of a different audience it's a different experience yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what definitely. makes it fun. Yeah, and I, and you don't try to imitate anyone. Never. No, because we're not. You know, there, there's enough tribute bands. I mean, there's 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 at least four that I know of. <laughs> guess who tribute right. bands in Canada yeah. alone? So they're playing. Yeah, we're gonna get to that Canada connection because this seems to be well, a monopoly playing, on. Well, Yeah, they're playing a lot of those the the songs yeah. and and this and that. You know, right. and we we do is. We do, uh, tr- we we pay tribute to some of the older songs, like even Shaken All Over, which is right. which is the first singer, and and uh, and uh, but we you know we put our own spin on things because you know that's who we are now. Yeah, you know you can't keep doing the same thing. Over right, and over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I wonder how do you keep it fresh? Yeah, exactly. You know? So we're always morphing things, and you know they maybe you wouldn't notice, but it, I mean over time it, it does. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So um, you've had obviously a ton of hits to fall back on and, yeah, and sing tons, those. Yeah. What about the newer music? It's funny, you know. I, it was uh, uh, it's it's a it's a pretty strange territory to venture into, you know. Uh, but but uh, when Will got in the band, you know, uh, we found him through my friend Tommy Shaw. They, they were mutual friends, and and the Sticks was doing a, a record around the same time we started ours and uh and i was like you know what these, these guys sound better than they did you know back in the day as as you should you know like it, it, people get better with age one would think i <laughs> hope anyway and and yeah. it's funny because when we did it by the time we got it all together it took a while because we all live in different places so that was a bit of a challenge sure. but but you know when the guests who started, they were very young men, and they were just starting out. They didn't have, they hadn't honed their skills, you know, and, right. and, and these things happen over a long period of time. So by the time we got to it, everybody knew what to do. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Excellent. <laughs> so it was, it was easy in that respect, yeah. and I think because of it, 
that's why the product is 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 such a high quality in in my opinion. And the sh- and the songs go over uh, live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and I was wondering about the touring. You you, you guys are a hard working band. You tour constantly. It yeah, like we, we never, never stop. We never stop uh, for sure. Do you ever get tired? Do you ever need a uh, break? <laughs> only on the long travel days. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the 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 challenge now because everybody's getting up there yeah. is is that uh, it's it's not so much the show it's the day before and the day after and sometimes you know poor Rudy's in LA and I'm in Toronto yeah. and, and we play out like out here he's yeah. got to get up at 2.30 in the morning right you know it takes fly him two out. hours to get to yeah, LAX because yeah. of the stupid yeah. traffic <laughs> to fly to Atlanta yeah. to fly up here yeah. two hour drive yeah. you know the, the thing yeah. so by the time you get where you're going you're exhausted you're, exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh get ready to go home <laughs> but the 90 minutes or right. the show, I mean, you play is yeah. it's like being a little kid yeah. it's fun yeah right? yeah yeah too bad it wasn't the rest of it like that night. Yeah, minutes, yeah. Huh? But I think every every band will say the, the same, same thing. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be the worst part about it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, how about for you? Um, what would you be doing if you weren't fronting this band? Uh, I'd be fronting another, another band. band. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listen. I was already. I was very busy before I started this, mm-hmm. and and, and uh, I, I didn't. I don't know how, how well you know the story, but but I I, I actually just came in as a fill-in. Uh, uh, because they needed somebody in an emergency. I mean, I learned the whole thing in about a week, wow. and uh, and it just it just gelled, and we and, and here I am, you know, tw- yeah. tw- twelve years later. Uh, but uh, I've played with a with a fair amount of, of uh, you know big acts uh, up in Canada and and and, and uh, other places as yeah. well. So I've never. I've been pretty blessed with, with the fact that I've been a working musician since I was 15 years wow. old, and I, you know, I haven't had a job <laughs> since. The, <laughs> I don't even remember my last job. <laughs> Any other interests though outside of music? Absolutely. Uh, you yeah. might find a lot of musicians are artists in many ways. Uh, yeah, I I I'm I write. You know, I write. Uh, I have a pretty big songwriting catalog I've written songs for other people and my wife and I have co-wrote co-wrote you know over a hundred songs at least I, I, I lost count uh, so I do that I'm I, I'm I do a, I was gonna be a chef once when I was 18 or 19 you know I, I was you know I was I had a job and I was doing my hours and I you know, and as soon as I started making enough money playing music, I abandoned it. But I kept it up as a hobby, so I, I have a quite the kitchen at home, oh, nice. and uh, and I do latte art with coffee. I'm a pretty nerdy guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a lot of hobbies, yeah. and yeah, I you cool. know, and I like to travel. Yeah. 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 Wow, I'm sure you do enough travel. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of travel, but I never Some get, to, I travel, never get right? to see anything. Right, yeah, I just went true. to Israel for five days, oh, oh, and yeah. uh, it was amazing. Yeah. It was was amazing. that a vacation? Well, my, no, my wife was on tour. Oh. Uh, uh, with the Bowie celebration, Mike Garson, oh, okay. and uh, and uh, they were playing there, and I thought uh, I'll go and meet them because I'd never been to the to Israel before. Right. So it was, yeah. it, was, it was worth the trip for sure. Yeah. Oh, nice. So tonight, because Gary's not here, obviously mm-hmm. we have uh, a fill-in, Brent, Brent right? Fitz. Yep. Fitz. Brent Fitz, and, uh, who's a who's a very is, dear friend of mine. Yeah, and he was yeah. he's played with Slash and he, yeah, he Gene plays Simmons with Slash, and, Gene Simmons. I mean, Brent's got a pretty impressive resume. He played with uh, Vince Neil. He played with Alice Cooper years ago. Uh, you know, I'm just those. This that's just off the top yeah. of my head. Yeah, and I mean, I've done with records. the guess who before too. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Brent's from Winnipeg. Okay. You know, so he grew up. He's a big fan of the band and yeah. he, he's a bit younger yeah. of course I think he's turning 50 next month the big 5-0 wow. Wow. old and old that's the young one <laughs> and, he, and he's the young one yeah. and I tell you what you know but uh, yeah. so and he's a great guy really talented and it just it's a seamless fit yeah. you know. um, can we expect his influences uh, to be heard a little tonight? maybe a little bit yeah. I mean he's pretty true to the you know, he has a lot of respect for Gary, and uh, and he's one of the few subs that we've had that really tries to do justice to the the actual drum parts. So he'll prob he'll do his own thing. Yeah. But he 
he does a nod to him. Let's yeah. put it that right. way. And you know, actually, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't played with him in a, in a little while now. So maybe he'll surprise us oh. all tonight. <laughs> Who knows? Great. That's great. When, when did you play with him? Uh, did you play with him outside of the ghetto? Yeah, we did. Uh, the last time I played, we do, a, we do a charity up in Canada every year. A bank charity. Uh, it's a, it's a very, it's a very big thing. He's involved with that. And uh, we recorded an album with Sass um, uh, a couple of years ago. He came in and played drums on the record with uh, with Rudy. So it's one of those things where you know we, we we end up on projects together for one reason or another. Because you know we keep in contact and we're friends, even though we live as far away from each other as, as possible. But, right. You know, but that's the way of the world now. Sure. Sure. It's getting awful loud in here. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to find a quiet place. It's okay. Yeah, as long work. as you can. Uh, it'll work. <laughs> it's yeah. all good. So, uh, for tonight's show, for someone who's never seen the Guess Who, what uh, what can we expect? Uh, uh, I would say watch Rudy. Watch Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a fun guy to yeah, watch. In okay. fact, sometimes I, yeah. I catch myself just <laughs> staring at him. He's such an uh, an amazing performer, but you know, I, I, um, there, there's a lot of action going on in our show, and there's a lot of interaction going on in our show, and uh, I, you can expect to have a good time. I mean, pretty. I can't remember the last time, you know, everyone pretty pretty much leaves leaves uh, with a big smile on their face. You know, it's like a trip back in time sure. on one hand, yeah. and the other hand, it's like a it's this extravaganza, and I think it's it's cool that people still come out to go see a live show. Oh, I mean, getting 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 me out of my house is not easy, <laughs> let alone right. any, anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Sure, absolutely. So absolutely. so I think it's great, and I think more people should do that. Yeah, you know, because it's, it's it supports the well, cause. Live music, and, and it's great, man. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, a mix of old and new songs. Absolutely, mostly old. Mostly old. Yeah, right. I mean, we, we there's songs we just have to play. Absolutely, obviously. right. And uh, we kind of just mix in uh, all the new songs we did we do in the show have a purpose in the theatrical uh, show part of the context. entertainment context right. of, of the show. So and we were we were very careful of that because we just didn't want to throw in a song for no reason. So everything kind of has a purpose. It's hard to explain uh, because I've never seen us play. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just know it from my perspective. Uh, uh, obviously, that's good. So um, are we all, all set for tonight? You have yep. a full lineup now with... Uh, um, with the drummer Brent sitting in, yep. everyone's there. Everyone's everyone's terrific. here. Terrific. And we're all here. And then we had lunch together. <laughs> we had coffee. All right. We're raring to go. All right. Had a poop. <laughs> Beautiful Beautiful. poop. That's what you do now. Uh, that's what you do now. Yeah, yeah, we, that's, and that's what right. we talk about. <laughs> it used to be girls. <laughs> yeah. Sex, drugs, and poop. Okay. Sex, drugs. Yeah. Mostly poop. Yeah. And the drugs yeah. are a lot different now. <laughs> <laughs> the drugs are Metamucil prescription. It's not the same, right? <laughs> right. That's funny. Oh my god. All right. Well, I'm the photographer for tonight, also, oh, awesome. so I will see you, you a nice camera? the show. And uh, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, okay. uh, very nice camera. So we'll be taking some great pictures, hopefully, and they'll go along with this. That's and, great. Um, so is there uh, any new music on the horizon? I know the last release was 2018, I believe. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. And uh, I think what we're going to do is possibly do a live album first. Oh. Maybe this year. We're trying to work out the specifics of it. because Recorded right here in Twin River? <laughs> well, I don't know where we're going to do it. It'll have to be, you know, it's it's always a technical song and dance. Sure. I, don't e- I don't even know, but... But uh, we're gonna do that, and we talked about maybe doing a, like a maybe a bonus track or two instead of doing a whole record oh, okay. because it, I mean, it took us two years to do our last record right. just out of convenience and, and trying to herd the cattle together. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's it, it's yeah. an expensive endeavor. Right. Not, not to mention it's 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 trying to get people when they're available right. on their on their free time because we play a lot. Right. So people value their their free, free time, time when they're at home. So <laughs> you, you yeah. understand. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, I, I I think the intention is to, to just to keep plowing away. Sure. You know, as long as it's fun. Yeah. You know, right. I'm in. 
Uh, it's fun for us, the listeners, anyway. Ah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that's that's yeah. the point. Yeah. Well, it's getting really loud in here, and I know you've got a show to get to. Yeah, no worries. So, no worries. Yeah. I was I'm happy to come down and talk to you. I appreciate it. Yes. You've been very generous with your time. Oh, no worries. And uh, please uh, pass along our best wishes to Gary. Hopefully, he'll uh, speedy will. recovery. Yeah, I'll Perfect. give him a call later. Listen, hey, thanks, thank Mike. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. I hope that was good. Uh, and Brent just called me. Yeah. As long as the Wi-Fi held up, we're good. So I 